Leo, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for October 18th through the 24th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. And let's see, Leo. What you doing there, crazy? You're not coming to mama anymore. You got yourself a big ass cat tree. Yeah. Let's see, Leo. The overall energy for the reading, the chariot, movement. I see movement, but I see movement in energies, not necessarily physical movement. It could be physical. It's more like a on and off, up and down, good and bad kind of movement here. Uh, in the recent past, the six of swords, the six of wands, the queen of pentacles. Somebody walking away. Um made you kind of turn into your direction. Now, I don't know if it's you that walked away from the situation or somebody else walking away from a situation with you, but eventually it led to you taking a better look into yourself, basically. Um, it almost feels like recognizing it later on as it was actually good that it happened in that way, you know? Um, in the current situation, the Three of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Wands. There's this energy of possible reconciliation, somebody wanting to come back or feeling that. Um, and it brings in a lot of inner conflict. I don't see this as being argumentative on the, um, on the surface. I see it more as conflict. You know, when this energy is being brought into play of possibly let's get back together or let's uh, do this again or whatever the case here, I feel like this brings in also an energy of fuck, what do I do about this? And then kind of starting to argue with yourself about it. In the immediate future, the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups. There's a rejection to a good energy. There's an energy that's coming in as feeling good, feeling happy, feeling passionate, feeling like, hey, let's let's do this together because we both feel it kind of thing. But one of you is like, nope, uh, and not nope in that ex to that extent, but uh, a little bit of yeah, I kind of recognize this energy. It makes me feel good. But there's something in me that kind of makes me keep away, keep my distance. Um, let's clarify. Let me do the chariot. <clears throat> the Six of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. There's a soul connection here. And I feel like there are uh changes possibly there's movement in this situation but overall there's this energy of stability in it so maybe you have that going on with someone uh, <clears throat> where things are shifting at times i do see some pain in there you know struggling through some pain in this but again at the end of the day there's still that sense of stability here Let's do the Six of Swords in the recent past. The High Priestess, the Two of Swords, the Five of Wands. Yeah. There's been a lot of conflict here. A lot of inner conflict, a lot of outer conflict too. And a lot of over-analyzing, over-thinking, over... Not a good energy. Let's just put it that way. And instinctively, I feel like you knew, this is my cue, I need to get the hell out of Dodge, but I feel like you stayed for a while in this energy. 
you know? Your intuition is right there telling you move away. And you're like, no, no, no. So that energy may have been created with somebody else here. And it just wasn't, it just doesn't look good. Uh, maybe it was good at some point, but towards the end, it feels like, oh my God, what the hell happened here? And your intuition, again, was kicking in for quite some time. Like, Leo, get the hell out. Nope. Let's do the Six of Wands. Eight of Wands, Five of Swords, the star. Looking for communication for quite some time here. Feeling that even if you heard a high from them, that would make your whole day, that would make your freaking life. Like, yeah, I would be the happiest. It's a deceptive kind of energy. Uh, it's self-sabotaging. It's definitely not about you in here, you know, not caring about you. It's what they do. As long as they do this, then I'm happy. You just made them responsible for your happiness, basically. And it's okay. We've all been there. We've all done that when we didn't know that. Oh, my God, that's what I'm doing. Um, but I feel like that's what shows up here. Like there's this sense of almost coming back to life as long as there's some movement, some words, something being said or done. And it feels like that's that's my only desire. That's everything I'm wishing for in this life, for them to move or act towards me. And the Five of Swords is there, which is telling me, eh, deception. <clears throat> Let's do the Queen of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Lovers. This situation here actually helped you heal a lot. It set you on this path of healing. It set you on this path of self. I feel like it was very confusing at the beginning. It was kind of like, I don't know, should I hang on to this connection? That means I'm healing or should I hang on to me? But then do I let go of the connection? But then I still feel the connection. So how do I let go? Because I'm hanging on to me, but I... And I feel like eventually you started, you know, kind of looking into yourself and realizing that this connection ain't going anywhere. At least energetically, maybe physically it did. And with what energies it was bringing in, maybe it needed this split, this, you know. Let's do the Three of Cups in the current situation. Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups, Three of Swords. This energy is coming back in. It's coming back in with a more beautiful energy than what was left behind. But there's a lot of rejection towards this because there's still a lot of pain attached to this. I don't know on whose part, yours, theirs, I have no idea. Uh, but the energy is definitely coming back around. Let's do the Queen of Wands. in the current situation. The death card, the hermit, the king of cups. Wow. <clears throat> it's very tricky because it shows up very different. That's very different. It's the same person you're dealing with basically but the energies come in is feeling very different but with the sense of there's a whole lot of love here it's just never going to be experienced because somebody's in that mindset of well it's done i don't know if that's you i don't know if that's them i don't know if that's the both of you but the both of you with that concept or that free will are blocking the energies that are being sent from the universe around this. Um, let me see the five of wands. Five of cups, queen of cups, the world card. My God, there's it's it's such a. You just don't want to let go. They just don't want to let go. I feel like neither of you just don't want to let go of the past energies, which again are very different. 
but you keep on bringing them in the current situation that feels like it's a new opportunity to work with something new. And because you're not releasing those and the anger and the resentment and the whatever shaped that up, it's, it's kind of starting to show up here within, you know, infiltrated within these new energies. And it's not allowing for this to happen. It's, it's coming with all of these come with the energies of it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. And it's not going to happen as long as those energies from the past are carried here. Two different timelines. But you and them, I feel like it's the both of you that are doing this, are bringing in the energies from another timeline into this one. Let's do the Nine of Wands in the immediate future. Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Magician. Wow, you, you, you guys are killing me. Because you're showing up as manifesting this. The both of you are. Because I almost said, like, at least you don't, I don't see any desire for this, you know? Well, yeah, the energies are present, but you keep, not you, the both of you, keep bringing in the past, and that's not going to allow for the energies to, to come through. And I almost said, at least you don't want this, and then the magician shows up with this love, and so you do want this. But at the same time, not, because you, you would allow for this to come in. If you release the past. This is frustrating. Because it's not like I would pick on you or on them. But it's the both of you. Um, let's do the Ace of Wands. Ooh. There's my Leo. King of Wands, the Fool, the Six of Wands. The resistance is dropping on your side, but big time, which tells me that you're releasing all of this crap that you're hanging on to here. Once that resistance drops, there's a whole other energy that's popping in on your side of Leo's back, basically, you know, kind of like how you truly feel in your own skin when you completely trust how you feel. You don't care about how anybody else feels because it's not about them. And you just stay in your power. And you show up here in a, in a, in a Leo-like energy. Like, I'm just going to go for it. <clears throat> for the Nine of Cups, you get the Emperor, the Temperance, the Eight of Cups. Somebody's trying to buy time here, and I feel like it's them. Somebody's in that uh, mindset of, if I allow for enough time to pass by, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to forget all about Leo. We're going to be fine. I'm going to be emotionally detached. I don't care about this. But I feel like, uh, how much time? A whole lifetime? kind of thing because it kind of comes in like that like this is imprinted into them this happiness that they feel this love that they feel just like it is within you but it's definitely a play with let's buy time here on their part I feel maybe it's you but I kind of get that it's them here what you doing here baby boy don't smell my shoes oh, my shoes my slippers I know, it smells like the outside. You don't know the outside. Let's see what the universe has. Come on. You're, you're both here? Come on. Two of swords, ten of pentacles, seven of pentacles. Okay. You're overthinking things. I feel like you may... All of these energies, all, all of these are playing off at an energetic level. I feel like most of these, you don't even know you're going through them, you're experiencing them. Uh, on the surface, it feels like you're 
a little bit stuck in that trying to find that way to make things work within this situation uh or maybe you have been for quite some time and just gave up but mm. it feels like a little bit of a mess when somebody's dragging in the past within new energies it it becomes a little bit of a mess and again i feel like the both of you are doing it in the immediate future things are starting to settle down a little more but somebody does show up in that sense of let me lie to myself let me lie to time let me make a deal with time okay but that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye